We say that two objects, any two objects, will hit the ground at the same time. What we're saying is that the mass of the object doesn't affect anything. It doesn't affect how fast it falls. It's independent of the mass of the object. So let's show how that happens. If we know that the force of gravity is here, we'll just plug it in right here and see how fast it accelerates down. Well, the force of gravity is given by all this stuff, g m uh, m sub e uh, over r squared, and then divided by m right here. Now, anything, uh, you can think of it uh, as itself over 1, so you can just flip and multiply, however you want to think about doing your algebra. Flip and multiply puts the masses on the bottom, or you can just think of it, since they're both on the top right here, you can think of cancel, cancel, right? And so what you have is that the acceleration that everything is going to come down uh, to the ground is going to be g times the mass of the earth divided by r squared. But on the bottom, there's nothing here. There's a 1 and a 1, so it disappears. So what we're saying is that the acceleration of any object coming down only depends on the mass of the earth and the distance it is from the center of the earth. The mass of the object is not in here at all. And so that means that we call it g, which is a constant. And in our case, in Earth, at the surface, 9.8 meters per second squared. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.